when you are going there, the first rule is that don't point finger to count the branches. Number two, you have to off your shoes. Number three, a woman that are doing monthly circle should not touch the palm tree. Good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Oh yes, we are still in Ekiti State. And where I am, <laughs> where I am is called Ilogbo. I hope I pronounced that yes, yes. very well. Okay, Ilogbo, that's where we are. Bah, ha! There's something so special about this place. Actually, have you heard of palm tree before <laughs> but this one is a very special one yes it's a very special palm tree palm tree with how many heads i won't tell you until you get there <laughs> so you can't eat by yourself come on and uh, here with me i have um i have a uh, mr busui oluwasome he's going to be our tour guide here in uh, Ilogbo, yes. So it's going to be our tour guide. And I also have uh, my able brother here, and uh, who is a peculiar discover a kitty. You will still hear a lot about him. And uh, I have uh, with me <laughs> J Boy Liki. Yes, that's my boy for you. And I also have uh, Joseph Oni. Joseph Oni is here, and the bike man that even brought us here, he will be the one to help us because this road, this is the end of the road where a vehicle can go. So that's why we have to park here, and uh, we will have to take the bike, perhaps bash by bash, until we get to. I, I think it's not that far. So, your name, sir? Oh, Larry, why do I know? So, he's also with us, and uh, well, without much ado, ha! Oh yeah, let's go there. Can we, can we meet you, sir? Yeah, I'm right on the road. Like day, a day to enjoy Okay, sir. Um, you're from you're from Ilubuikiti. I'm a prince of Ilubuikiti. Oh, a prince of Ilubuikiti. Fantastic. Um, we discovered that Ilubuikiti in Edo, the local major in the states, has an amazing, an astonishing natural palm tree that has 14 heads. Uh, actually, we've been there. But uh, we actually want you to give us a mythical story behind that. Uh, for how long has that palm tree been there? And what is the story behind the palm tree? And what will make it unique? <laughs> well, I can't tell you for how long it's been there. Uh, it's something that uh, generations met there. Generations of Ilobo met there, and uh, right from the very word go, it has been uh, uh, a mythical object, so to say, okay. and uh, a lot of uh, sacredness surrounding it, even the vicinity. Uh, it has a lot of spiritual importance here, but that's for the locals. But all we are saying is, this is something very unique. Uh, I've tried as much as possible to goggle around all over the globe, and I don't think I've seen anything similar. However, while we were about moving in there, the tour guide, you know, just had to tell us something. You know, there are rules that you need to follow before getting to where the palm tree is. So, sir, 
What are the rules, sir? One, you, before you, when you are going there, the first rule is that don't punch chingan to count the branches. That is rule number one. Number two, you have to off your shoes. Number three, a woman that are doing monthly circle should not touch the palm tree. Number four, don't cause anybody or use a boost language there. But you can only pray or whatever, or you can request anything there. That's the rules. Are you aware now? Okay. You guys must remove all your shoes. No, we have to get have very to close oh, to the place. Okay, we have to get yeah. closer to the place before yeah. we remove our shoes. Okay, yes. no problem. Let's move. Um, we, we learned that um, that palm tree has been there for about, about century years ago. Yeah. So, is there any meat behind how it was formed or how it came to be? Yeah, that's what I've just told you. These are things that the generations, Met the founders of the community, met there. Met there. So nobody can uh, really claim to be. It's not man-made. Okay. It's something that grew up naturally and stationed itself there. Wow. So nobody can say I planted it. No, it was not planted. Wow. They met it there, and it's one of uh, the wonders of uh, God. However, there's something I want you guys to know now. You see, there are a lot of things that we the government can also tap from and from where i can see the ekiti state uh tourism department is really trying courtesy of uh, uh the special the senior special assistant to the governor on uh, tourism development fortunately you are uh, from the government state as assembly and uh, from the government perspective right now um uh, has there been any Attempt from the government in developing that, uh, in developing it as a tourist attraction. Well, I have not really seen anything concrete in that regards, and that's why I'm saying the book. That's why I'm saying that uh, there was a time the SSA tourism visited, and uh, I was part of the entourage as well uh, because I invited him and I said he should come and. Uh, because when I was in the deputy speaker, I championed certain things about tourism. Because Ekiti has a lot of tourist potentials. And I believe if we were able to develop it, those tourist sites would be income manners for the government as well. And even right now, I mean, I've been talking to some people on my home, and when Mr. Wiley Jolani was made yes, his tourism and said, yes, fine. This is a, a square peg in a square hole. He's been a champion in that kind of aspect before. And that was why I spoke to him and I invited him. And uh, we were together with some other people who visited the site and uh, he saw the wonders. Oh, this is the spot? Yes. Okay, this is the spot where we have to off our shoes. We remove our shoes. No problem. Oh yeah, start removing your shoes. I'm wearing sauce. Uh, no worries. I have to no, remove the sauce. No, 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 no. Don't. But the don't sauce will get spoiled sauce. if I don't remove it. Mm, mm, let's remove everything. Yeah. I have to put the shoes here. Yeah? Yes, put it there. Okay. Stay here. Don't go to anywhere. Let's go. We are the strangers. So that's why we removed our yeah, shoes. Wow. You are free or you are free, you can touch it, you can do whatever you want to do. You are free. As um, the foot has ever been, ever been killed? No, no. It does not. It does not fruit. Instead of fruit, 
it brings branches, new branches, another new branches. No fruit. No fruit. And for how many years has this thing been here? Ah, it's, I can't even say because uh, the person that founded this town, Obajemu, he made this uh, hydrated uh, ah. concrete. Yeah. This so, one has been. Yes. So we cannot even say the actual year. Oh. So and it remain still doesn't grow up or so the height remains. Uh -huh. The oldest in our family, the head of our family is over 100 years. He, he, he told us about the story of the palm tree that uh, that is how it was when he was young. I mean, when he was a child. So he also met this thing. No, it's not even meant. He witnessed this, this thing has been in existence before he was born. Native, yes. This one has been existed before 15th century. Before this community, this Ilogbo, founded in 15th century, late 15th century. God. So, wonders. Nobody can even tell us about something. And you can't even see hidden uh, rats or whatever. Good. Any a bit climate. Is this camera doing justice to this? Uh palm tree i don't know yet but i don't know let's do whatever you see they plant all this tree to protect it and you can never see that tree to penetrate inside it. Instead of it, you will command it with the other side. Can you see all these trees now? There is another one that has put stubbornness. This one. You it's, wanted to? Yes, it dry up from, from up to this level. So, if you see now, come and say yes. You will see the way you command all these trees inside it. So, you cannot see the trees penetrate inside the sump or the top. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, these are the things that we need to start on. Can you, can you imagine yeah. that? He's just telling us now, and I can see that. He said they, they, they planted these trees here to protect it. And uh, however, no matter how tough or how, you know, big the trees are, he, com he usually command them away from itself so that they won't touch it. So from what we heard that uh, this one that is falling here, uh happens to be uh the most stubborn one and uh, it has to dry it up like that and uh, yes. fell so as you can see wow see there wow yeah we should be able to pick the something from this side me that I don't know if we still want to remove the dry leaves so that we can do it in the best angle. Wow, one that shall never end. Wow. So this is the stubborn uh, yes, tree. tree. If I even want to fly the drone, there's no way. This uh, this one will definitely obstruct the view of uh, the drone. Yeah, but that's a rock you can. Man. If you count it now, you can count it to 14. At the same time, you recount it again, you can count 11 or more than 40 again. You understand? So nobody can even say, say this is the actual numbers of the country. Because Unless. It's growing now. You know that? Uh -huh. it is growing. So. This place is very covered. That, that side is the. So has anybody climbed it? Uh, no. 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 Is it forbidden for one to climb it or I what? Do, I don't know because I'm still doing side days about it. 
because I want to know the actual year the leaf take before it dry. You understand? Because there are some things that are mystery about the about the palm tree. Now, first, the you can't see the roots. It cover the roots, as you can see other roots of right, the so, palm tree. Like yes, exactly. Yes, and I think the reason why why this thing be done is because of the dry leaf. So mm -hmm. it covers the root it by itself. Root. Yes. So you can see it's not physical like that. Then two, the leaf, if you look at the uh, the leaf, the special one to the common uh, palm tree. You understand? So that truck, you see, if you, if, if you calculate the meter, it's almost four feet before the branches. You understand? So instead of fruit, you understand? Yes. You so bring up branches. So instead of fruits, it yes. brings out uh, branches. New branches. New. Yes. So you can't see either lizard or rat or bed build their net on it. No. And they it's can't. through. You can't see it. It's through. Now, one major thing. I observe is that uh, for that place, for that decision to actually become attractive, there is a need to actually construct a road, possibly from uh, the, the, the main town, the, the main access road to that particular area. So, and at the same time too, uh, tourism, the general like is not something that the government alone can do. So, is, is there any step that committee have actually taken to possibly, possibly uh, get investors or possibly partners that can be interested to develop the attraction. I think the first thing we're in right now is a very good access route to that point. And at the same time, to possibly clear the environment and make it a kind of more or less an apportionment park where people can actually come there for recreation. Is there plans for that, sir? Yeah, there, there, there are plans for that. Actually, the, 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 the family uh, in whose farmland the one that is, they are prepared to really complement whatever efforts the government is doing, the community has a whole too, is ever ready to also complement that effort. And fortunately for us, that area falls within uh, the area that the government are their mark for uh, under this ramp project. Project, wow, fantastic. Yes, it's going to go from that place, I think, to a journey as well. Okay. And also some. Uh, Boundary communities. Okay. Uh, then, uh, apart from the, that, I think uh, there was somebody who came visiting the last time. Yes. Yeah. Who also uh, who is interested and who also promised to do some grading of the roads while we are waiting for the government. So, uh, I, I think all hands are on deck. Now, um, you told us that this mountain, I mean, this, this palm tree has been there. Yes. Since about uh, 50 centuries. Yes. Yes. Now, sorry, is there any particular ritual attracted to attached to, mm, or, where? To, to, to this palm tree? Where? We don't, we don't, I don't, from my family. It's not otherwise, right? Yes. It's just natural. It's natural. Okay. It's natural. Okay. So there's no maybe unique or personal vestibule attached to it. Attached. There's nothing like that. But okay. uh, social, uh, social cultural. Uh, purpose, maybe someone go somewhere to consult the oracle. Okay. They can say go there and make a prayer. Okay. So that is why I say, as you are here, don't cause anybody or use a bush language. Okay, people they come here to, to make prayers. Prayer. Make prayer. Yes, exactly. So that is uh, it. So okay. it have two purposes now. It have tourism area and a prayer center. Prayer center. Yeah. So, so it's like it's like a, a natural circuit area for prayer. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. So, so I want to ask if it's, uh, what has been, has government ever taken any steps? Who has government taken any uh, steps? Towards toward the end of the uh, pandemic, so Ambassador Larry Joe came and uh, viewed the, uh, the palm tree, palm tree uh, the site. The yeah. mystical, hydra headed palm tree, and they allowed Rusaba that he go there. So that is the only thing. So they said the pattern. From uh, the community uh, uh, that I came because someone came from uh, Lagos recently. Okay. He said uh, uh, maybe I uh, oba of uh, Yoruba Odudua, oba of Odudua. So he make a request that uh, want to grade 
from the community to this place so that the two vehicles can get yes. across this yes. place. So, and the request granted. Okay. So, that's so, so they are working on it now. On it. Hey, I don't know. Maybe it's a lot about it, but he promised. Okay. So, and he take it serious. Now, um, in a year, um, if you want to come to this particular place, what the frequency of people coming here uh, in, a, in a year? Hey, because of the lack of publicity, so people doesn't even there's some people living in the community that are native and yes, wow. so they don't know this thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I can even say okay. uh, Ambassador Bar Larry Ojo was the one that uh, yes put it on the social media. social media. So as a result of that, I think that several people came here and viewed the, the place. yes. So uh, sorry, please I have my own question. And my question goes thus: In ten years' time, how do you see this environment? Ten years. Yes. Ten years come. Yes. Ah. Now, yeah, what I'm trying to say in essence is that you know, when us is started coming yeah. to this environment now, yeah, they they to to this place. Yeah, but the only thing we are saying because when, when uh, Ambassador Larry Ojo came in, there's something we told him that one, we can't cut this tree because I think it's half a certain uh, uh, it protects him because of heavy load on it that is number one two we need to we need to if if they want to bulldoze the here there are some certain maybe meter also close to the because of the fruit of the uh, so we not do anything which can tamper the uh, the fruit of the hydrated uh, pantry <sighs> anyway so you've had it all from a uh, hebel uh, tour guide mr uh, Usui Uluwa. Usui Uluwa Sami, yes. Uh -huh. So it's a pleasure having you uh, with us. And um, for those of you that also want to discover a lot of things, let's know if there's anything special, spectacular about your community that you want us to bring out to, to the world. So, however, this palm tree is in Ilogbo, Ekiti State, Nigeria, West Africa. Wow. It is on this note, I want to sign off by saying bye-bye. And uh, oh, double.